Satnam. My name is Lana Labonte, or Sundari Kirinkar is my spiritual name. And today we're going to do a meditation for the positive mind. So making sure you have a nice, comfortable seated position. You can be in a chair, you can be on the floor, on a mat. Ensure that your spine is erect. Maybe you're sitting on a bolster. You have a slight tilt to the pelvis, so the pelvis tilts forward. Your vertebrae are stacked one over the other, neatly, like someone's pulling a string from the crown of your head. The shoulders roll forward up to the ears. Let them glide down the back. Let the shoulder blades come together and making sure that you keep this heart open because the more we bring the shoulders back, open up that heart space, lifting up on the chest, we're creating more space for long, deep breathing so that we can really take in the richness of the breath of life, the prana, the life force. Coming into this position, notice as you close your eyes down, start breathing long and deep. Deep down into the pelvic floor, the belly expands, the chest lifts, and on the exhale, the chest lowers, the ribs contract, the belly pulls in and up at the navel point, getting rid of any stagnant air. You can have your hands on your knees or resting in your lap. Notice your alignment. Notice your body. Tap into what it is you feel. Any thoughts that are arising. Long, slow, deep breathing. Becoming mindful and present in this moment right here, right now. Softening the face. Softening the jaw. Softening the sides of the neck and the back of the neck. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Feel the melting on every exhale, the softening, the relaxing of every muscle and cell in your body. Consciously give yourself permission to be present, to release and relax any tension or discomfort, inhaling the prana and sending it to those areas. Exhaling, softening and relaxing even more. Feel the expansion on the inhale and the contraction on the exhale. Notice any sounds. Notice any thoughts and just let them be. You don't have to attach to them, make sense of them. The struggle comes with the resistance to whatever is and wanting things to be different. So just allow whatever it is to be. Those of you who are new, we chant the Ari Mantra Om Namo Guru Dev Namo three to five times. And then we chant the Mangala Chadin three to five times. Ad Gade Name, Chigad Gade Name, Sat Gade Name, Siddhi Guru Deve Name. Inhale together. Exhale, release. Bring the hands at heart center in prayer pose. You can keep your eyes closed down, focus at the third eye between the eyebrows. Inhale together. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And on the next inhale, we'll chant the Ari Mantra. Inhale to begin. Om Namah Guru De Namah Om
Suspend the breath. Exhale, release, and inhale for the Mangala Chodin. Agire Nama, Jigagire Nama, Sakire Nama, Sidigiru Deve Nama. Agire Nama, Jigagire Nama, Sakire Nama, Sidigiru Deve Nama. Agire Nama, Jigagire Nama, Sakire Nama, Sidigiru Deve Nama. Last time. Agire Nama, Jigagire Nama, Sakire Nama, Sidigiru Deve Nama. Inhale, suspend the breath, pull the root lock, draw the energy up the spine, and press the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Inhale a little bit more. Exhale, release the hands down. Just go within. Notice what you're feeling. The quality of your thoughts, the quality of your breath. Setting an intention for your practice. you're ready you can open your eyes all right we're gonna just dive on in sometimes a meditation can feel challenging because your mind will try to talk you out of it first we're gonna bend our elbows arms are gonna be comfortably resting on the sides of your body we're going to bring the ring fingers and pinky fingers down to the pads of the hands the index and middle fingers are extended upward we're going to lock down the pinky and the ring finger with the thumbs. The fingers point straight up and the palms face forward. The arms aren't straight up. They're at 30 degrees out from the shoulders. The eyes will be closed, focused at the third eye, that point between your eyebrows. You want to bring the shoulders back, the elbows back, and really elevate through the crown of the head, lifting the heart. And we're going to breathe just mindfully, consciously, long, slow, and deep in through the nose, out through the nose. But while we're doing this, we're going to rhythmically, in our mind's eye and silently, project sa, ta, na, ma. So out through the third eye, we project sa, ta, na, ma. It's just a pulse, and you may notice you'll feel a little pulse in your third eye. So when you come into the position, this is what it looks like. Heart lifted, arms are, arms are forward 30 degrees from the shoulders. Palms face forward, fingers straight up. Close the eyes down, focus the third eye point. Breathe long, slow, and deep. Concentrate at the third eye point while rhythmically pulsing out the third eye. Sa, ta. Na, ma. Come into position and begin.
can put a little smile on your face. Keep the heart and chest lifted, elbows and shoulders back.
Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Again. Now open and close the fists. Just keep moving them. And now just relax them down on your knees or in your lap and just go within and notice what you feel. Inhale together. Exhale, release. And you can open your eyes. And that was a meditation for the positive mind. Used by Buddha and Christ's hand gesture, the mudra is a symbol of blessing and prosperity. So that may come in handy for some people out there. You may enjoy this meditation. You can do it as short as a couple minutes, do three to minutes starting out, and go as long as 31 minutes. You get to choose, and you can always come back. We did 11 minutes. This is all about the cycle of life. So sa is an infinity, and ta is life, na is death, and ma is rebirth or transformation. And at all times, we don't even realize we're going through all of those cycles all the time. We were born, yes. We rebirth ourselves all the time. Our cells are dying and reigniting and living and we are just constantly this macrocosm of little microcosms of death, birth, rebirth, transformation. And we're infinite. If you really think about it, it's just this infinite cycle. Whether or not we stay in a body and move on to the ethers and in the spirit, we are constantly going through these cycles. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments what you yourself felt, what your experience was, because that's what Kundalini Yoga is all about. The yoga of awareness through your personal experience. Now, one last thing I wanted to share with you. I pulled open this book because you know, just to reinforce the positive mind and how no matter what we're going through in life, we can always bring it back to our inner truth, our inner knowing. Michael Singer's The Untethered Soul. 
Chapter 19, The Loving Eyes of God. How can anyone really know anything about God? We have so many teachings, so many concepts, and so many views about God, but they've all been touched by people. In the end, it's amazing how much our ideas about God conform to the different cultures from which they came. Fortunately, deep within us, there is a direct connection to the divine. There is a part of our being that is beyond the personal self. You can consciously choose to identify with that part rather than with the psyche or the body. When you do this, a natural transformation begins to take place within you. Over time, as you observe this transformation, you will see what it's like to be coming toward God. You actually begin to know what it feels like to be moving in the direction of spirit. The changes you see within you are a reflection of the force you're approaching. Just as rain makes you feel wet, fire makes you feel warm, so can you know the nature of God by looking into the mirror of your transformed self. This is not a philosophy, it is a direct experience. Spiritual growth, spiritual growth can be experienced just like anything else. You may have experienced a time in your life when you felt a lot of negativity, anger, and resentment. You know how that feels, and you know how you feel towards others when you're feeling that way. You know how your heart feels and you know what your thoughts and actions are like. You know that space, it's not a philosophy, it's a direct experience. If you grow past that part of you, over time, you will actually drift away from the feelings of tension and anxiety. The entire cloud of lower vibrations will appear further and further away from where you sit inside. The cloud may still be there, but it, if you don't identify with it or hold on to it, it can no longer hold on to you. As you release the lower vibrations, you naturally stop thinking they're you and that there's anything you have to do about them. As you let go of them, your spirit drifts upward. Just a little bit I wanted to share, as well as at the very back side of this last part of the chapter. Your relationship with God is the same as your relationship with the sun. If you hid from the sun for years and then chose to come out of your darkness, the sun will still be shining as if you had never left. You don't need to apologize. You just pick up your head and look at the sun. It's the same way when you decide to turn towards God. Just do it. If instead you allow guilt and shame to interfere, that's just your ego blocking the divine force. You can't offend the divine one. Its very nature is light, love, compassion, protection, and giving. You can't make it stop loving you. It's just like the sun. You can't make the sun stop shining on you. You can only choose not to look at it. The moment you look, you'll see it's there. Beautiful, powerful. And it goes on to say, and when you begin to feel this joy, this connection to God, you'll know God's nature. Then nobody will upset or disappoint you. Nothing will create a problem. It will all appear as a part of the beautiful dance of creation unfolding before you. Contemplate this and let go of the idea of judgment. Let go of the idea of a judgmental God. You have a loving God. In truth, you have love itself for a God. And love cannot do other than love. Your God is in ecstasy and there's nothing you can do about it. And if God is in ecstasy, I wonder what he sees when he looks at you. You can't deny what is true. What is true across the board is true for all. As simple as that sounds, we humans still make it as difficult as we experience. And that in itself is just a test of if we're willing to come back to our true, our satnam. And we're always moving toward and away, expanding, contracting at all times. But the more we do the work, the more we're willing to show up devote ourselves, dedicate ourselves to healing, the easier it is to always come back to that truth, that knowing.
Hmm. Bring your hands to heart center for the long time sunshine. Inhale to begin. May the long time sunshine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you. Guide your way on. Guide your way on. Guide your way on. Inhale. So to the love, the light, the God within you that shines on you and through you. You are divine and only you know you through your personal experience. So much love, so many blessings. See you next time.